Fortnite Season 8 is here and the cubes are back. Let's jump into some of the mysterious changes on the island. Starting off with some new crash site locations spread across the map. These current areas provide tons of new chests and floor spawns for you to take advantage of. This change creates a new dynamic for players landing at the existing POIs close by. However, some of these areas can be more impactful than others. With areas like Smash Stronghold, which is south of the Stealthy Stronghold, Shattered Saucer, which is between Believer's Beach, Holly and Boney, and Leveled Lake, between Misty Meadows and Lazy Lake, being the most impactful to the overall competitive season. These POIs are some of the most sought after on the entire map, and now there's more players dropping around them and rotating into them. For example, previously the teams landing Believer Beach, Holly Hedges and Boney Burbs always had a difficult time getting Storm Surge on each other because there were top level teams landing there uncontested on most regions. However, now there's a new landing spot straight in the middle of this triad, further interrupting that dynamic. If you're landing Shattered Saucer or any of the other new crash sites, prepare to loot fast and rotate quickly to avoid being W keyed by one of the surrounding POIs. These crash sites give you all the tools you need to do so as well, as they also now provide with a new way to rotate with the use of the slipstream. These nifty streams allow you to quickly canvas your crash site area, loot up, and be ready for the mid and late game. You can also utilize these to get into engagements quicker, ultimately giving you the upper hand in fights. However, the defenders of these areas now have new access to power positions if you don't want to leave. High vertical elevation areas in the crash sites give them good sight lines over the entire map. Not only this, but because the slipstreams are there, you can also do a rather large split on the map covering a large horizontal area, and this will give you 360 degree sight lines for those nasty storm surge tags. If you get pushed by a team, simply jump straight back into the slipstream and get back to your teammates, which is something you simply cannot do in any other areas of the map. Now, another new change you also have to keep in mind is the increased availability of launch pads. With more floor spawn locations in these crash sites, you'll find more launch pads than ever before, providing an easier path for rotating mid game and taking height for the end game as well. So if you're rotating past here, gliding over it, or using the slipstream to just use a mid game rotate, always keep an eye out for a purple little marker on the floor because that may be a launch pad, which could be the catalyst for a victory royale. Next up, our beloved friend has returned and he's now blue. He has also brought a new gift for people landing around him. If you find yourself landing at Camp Cod, Destin Dish, or Weather Station, you can utilize the blue cube to heal for 20 every time you bounce off of them. This is a huge advantage if you land in any of these areas mentioned before. You no longer have to worry about utilizing shields you find to heal as blue cubes got you covered. Be careful though, as it can be difficult at times to rotate around this area if it is contested. Friendly Forest is also a viable solo landing spot as well because of all the new loot that's there too. Just make sure you rotate out of there early enough to avoid being held. Another new addition to Season 8 is the Sideways, which are randomly scattered around each competitive match. These are purple areas on the map which look like rifts, and when you get close, they'll expand into this large dome filled with chests and cube monsters. There's a variety of cube monsters in there, but each one will give you between 3 to 10 shield depending on the type, and I'd recommend fighting them with weapons that use mini ammo such as the SMG or Sideways Minigun. These are the fastest way to eliminate them, and you can save your medium ammo for later. This is the main reason players use the Sideways in competitive, because you can use a lot of ammo fighting the cube monsters, however, you gain more from the loot they drop and chests. If you need to heal or reload, don't do that inside the sideways. You can just walk out as the monsters can't leave. However, all of this commotion is loud and attracts a lot of attention. So be careful of nearby teams sneaking up and fighting you in the sideways as they'll have the advantage if they beam you first. All of these changes to the map have a huge impact to how Fortnite Competitive is played in Season 8, and I look forward to seeing how they play out in the FNCS this season as well. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the Battle Boss. Beep beep!